It can fly over your house right now and you'd never know. That's not sci-fi, that's the B2 spirit. It's a two billion dollar stealth bomber that can sneak through the most advanced radar systems on Earth while carrying enough firepower to erase a country. But here is what makes it truly terrifying. You'll never hear it, you'll never see it, you'll never even know it was there. But how does a 170,000 pound beast become invisible to the very tech built to detect it? And what did it take to make this plane the most feared shadow in the sky? Stick around because we're about to dive into the secrets, the sacrifices and the staggering science behind the most expensive warplane ever built and we'll uncover a fact about its radar signature that'll blow your mind. Welcome back to the war. In 1989, as the Cold War gasped its final breath, the United States quietly rolled out a jet that looked like it belonged in a sci-fi film. Smooth, black and triangular. No tail, no afterburners and no sound from above. This was the B-2 Spirit, nicknamed the Stealth Bomber. Designed in secrecy, under the black budget, the B-2 was crafted not to fight dogfights or launch surprise attacks. It was built to end wars before they even began. Its job? Slip past enemy radar undetected, drop nuclear bombs on hardened targets and leave without ever being seen. But what made this plane so special wasn't just its shape or weapons. It was something far more invisible. Its radar cross-section. You ready for this? Despite being as wide as a football field, the B-2's radar signature is smaller than a pigeon. Let that sink in. A two billion dollar flying wing appears to radar as a bird. Let me ask you, how do you even defend against something you can't see? Drop your answers in the comments. I want to hear your take. Now here's a twist. The B-2 wasn't America's first stealth aircraft. So where did this ghost plane come from? Before we get to how the B-2 cheated radar using literally black magic, and no, that's not a joke, a quick question for you. Would you trust a plane with no tail to carry your country's most powerful bombs? Keep watching, because in the next chapter, we'll uncover how the B-2 almost never got built at all, and how one secret program changed military aviation forever. Also, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the algorithm push this to other war and aviation fans like you. The B-2 story begins not on a runway, but in a political battlefield. The Air Force needed a long-range stealth bomber to counter growing Soviet air defences, but Congress wasn't convinced. They were already funding another stealth project, the F-117 Nighthawk, the world's first operational stealth jet. So why build a bigger, more expensive version? Behind closed doors, defence contractors like Northrop Grumman pitched something radical, a flying wing that could bend radar waves, absorb heat signatures and glide silently through enemy airspace. But there was one major problem. Nobody had ever built anything like it before. The development cost ballooned past 20 billion dollars just for prototypes. Political leaders freaked out. Critics called it a money pit. But then came the Gulf War. When the F-117 dominated Iraqi radar in 1991, it was game over for the doubters. Stealth wasn't a gimmick, it was the future. Suddenly, the B-2 became not just viable, but essential. Here is where it gets nuts. The B-2 doesn't just rely on stealth paint 
or odd angles. Its invisibility is the result of layered deception. Let's break it down. Its shape is smooth. The flat flying wing design deflects radar waves away instead of bouncing them back. The radar observant material. The skin is coated in a special material that literally soaks up energy radar. The engines are buried inside the wing to hide heat signatures from infrared detectors and it has no tail. The tails reflect a radar so the B2 simply doesn't have one. Now here's a bonus fact. The maintenance to keep it stealthy is insane. Crews work in climate controlled hangars using anti-static suits to paint and repaint the ram coatings constantly. Even a scratch can make it detectable. And if you're wondering how it flies without a tail, the answer is advanced fly-by-wire systems, constantly adjusting the aircraft to keep it stable. Without computers, this thing would fall out of the sky. Now, let me hit you with a question. If the B-2 crashes or gets detected, what's the backup plan? We'll answer that in just a minute. A quick break to check out our merchant membership programs. Now, back to the action. You might be wondering, has the B2 actually seen combat? Yes, and when it does, it changes everything. During Operation Allied Force in 1999, the B2 made its combat debut over Kosovo. It flew 30 hour missions from Missouri to Europe and back non stop. No forward base, no local radar pickup, no losses. The B 2 dropped 11% of all bombs during that operation with zero detection. Just let that sink in. Then came Afghanistan. In the early days of the war, B 2s were sent in to strike Taliban targets. Again, from the US, over 40 hours in the air. So when people say the B-2 is too expensive to use, they forget it's used when everything else will get shot down. But here's a chilling thought. What happens if one gets hit? Well, here's the open loop we mentioned earlier. In 2008, it happened. In 2008, a B-2 took off from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. Moments after leaving the ground, it pitched up, lost lift and slammed into the runway. It was a catastrophic failure and the only time a B-2 has ever been destroyed. The cause? Moisture in the sensors that misread the airspeed, tricking the onboard computer into stalling the aircraft. Thankfully, both pilots ejected safely but here's the eerie part. What followed up wasn't a normal crash cleanup. Recovery crews spent days scrubbing classified components, collecting wreckage in secrecy, and flying the remains out in cargo planes under heavy guard. Because even in pieces, the B-2 contains secrets you can't risk falling into enemy hands. Still think it's another bomber? So where does the B-2 stand today? Only 20 are operational. Each one costs around $150,000 per hour to fly, but they remain a cornerstone of US strategic deterrence. However, a new chapter is about to begin. Enter the B-21 Raider, a next-gen stealth bomber set to replace the B-2 by the 2030s. Smaller, cheaper and even stealthier. The B-21 uses lessons from the B-2 to create an unmanned, capable ghost with global strike potential. But don't count the B-2 out just yet. Until the Raider takes flight, the B-2 remains the only aircraft in the world capable of delivering a stealth nuclear strike anywhere, anytime. And that is a terrifying legacy.
So, the next time someone says stealth aircraft are overrated, remind them. The B-2 has flown through the world's most heavily defended airspace, been detected zero times, and still carries the power to reshape the battlefield in silence. It is, quite literally, the shadow before the storm. If you want more videos like this, check out our aviation playlist. And let us know in the comments, do you think the B-21 will truly replace the B-2, or will this ghost keep flying into the future? Hi soldiers, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to check out our merch and membership programs, especially if you want to support the channel. And don't forget to check back in again soon. That's an order.